Hello everyone and welcome to this session on how to choose a university in the UK. My name's Kitty, I'm the Communications Manager for the Study UK campaign at the British Council. Study UK provides practical insight on UK education to international students. Please do visit our festival booth for all the information and resources we provide, as well as links to our other sessions. I'm delighted to be joined today by Rose from Discover Uni and I'll just let her introduce herself before we start the presentation. Okay, thanks Kitty. Hi everyone, I'm Rose. I'm a student information and advice officer for the Discover Uni website and today I'm going to be showing you how to use Discover Uni to help you find information about undergraduate higher education courses in the UK. Great, thank you Rose. Um, so in this session we're going to take you through everything you need to consider when choosing a university in the UK. We'll start by talking about why you should choose the UK for your studies. And we'll then move on to talk a bit about the education system in the UK and what to think about when you start to consider your options. Rose will then take you through comparing your course options with Discover Uni's comparison tool and what you need to think about when choosing the right course for you. So why should you choose the UK for your chosen subject? The UK is a unique and perfect choice for any international student and a very warm welcome is waiting for you here. In the UK, you will fall in love with our ancient traditions experience our world-beating cultural scene and make friendships that last a lifetime. That's why in the academic year 2019-20, over 500,000 undergraduates and postgraduates chose to study in the UK over other countries. 20% of academic staff in the UK are from overseas, meaning that you can connect with people from all over the world during your time in the UK. The UK is one of the world's most trusted and most innovative countries, and it has consistently been at the forefront of science, culture, finance, politics, and more. We are the birthplace of many world-changing events, from the Industrial Revolution to the invention of the World Wide Web, and our small country continues to exert enormous global influence. Although it represents just 0.9% of the global population, the UK produces 14% of the world's most highly cited scientific research. Since 2007, the impact of that research has ranked at number one among G7 countries. As part of your education, you may choose to study at a Russell Group University. Together, these 24 institutions produce more than two thirds of the world leading research produced in the UK. The UK's innovative teaching methods produce successful, versatile graduates who are sought after by employers around the world. The UK has two of the world's top three universities and a further 26 universities and colleges are among the world's 200 best institutions for learning. Our universities combine traditional lectures with a variety of innovative teaching techniques designed to encourage independent thinking, problem solving skills and self-motivation. You will be working in small groups solving real life problems for your future career, whether in the classroom, the lab or on field trips. You will have access to leading technology from state of the art laboratories to interactive screens and online learning. You will have the opportunity opportunity to learn from the very best in your field. Many teachers in UK universities are industry leaders and you will have one to one access to them where you will be able to learn from their vast experience. Developing an ability to think for yourself is central to every UK degree. You will be encouraged to recognise good ideas, learn to question information and theories with an open mind, learn to weigh arguments against each other and use strong evidence when developing your own perspectives, opinions and ideas. It's why our country is a unique place to study and why our graduates are sought after by employers and recruiters. The UK offers unique opportunities to grow, to be independent in your studies and to become the best possible version of yourself. UK graduates are among the most employable in the world. Employers seek out UK graduates because they have developed an excellent command of English. They are more aware of new research and current professional practices, thanks to the UK's strong connections between education and industry. They have more cultural experience than students who stay in their home country and can work with colleagues from all over the world. They understand how modern business works thanks to the skills they've learned during work placements and can adapt more quickly to all kinds of professional cultures. Not only will these skills allow you to grow as a person, they will enable you to become the best possible candidate for employment and to help you make great progress in your chosen career. 
UK universities give their students the best possible tools to succeed in their future careers. One of the ways they do this is by maintaining strong links with many industries, both in the UK and internationally. The UK is a world leader in technological innovation and many multinational companies are headquartered here. This ensures that the UK's learning approaches are industry led and that students benefit from practical work and courses that understand current practices and demands. Many UK degrees offer placements, internships and volunteering positions designed to build new skills, make new contacts and apply your learning in a real world professional environment. Universities support students with a range of career development, networking and support while at university and all universities in the UK hold job and careers fairs for their students, offering you the chance to meet employers and learn more about potential careers. There are a whole host of things to consider when making your decision about where to study. We're now going to look at some of the things you should think about when choosing a university or institution in the UK. UK universities have one of the most diverse subject offerings in the entire world. So it's important to start by understanding the types of courses and the levels of study before narrowing down your options. Undergraduate courses are for those who have not previously completed a degree. And undergraduate courses in the UK may include bachelor's or undergraduate degrees, both full-time and part-time, and shorter courses, such as a foundation degree, diploma, higher national diploma, or a certificate of higher education. Postgraduate degrees encompass all courses taken after completing your first degree. Postgraduate degrees in the UK maintain the UK's excellent academic standards. They can often be shorter than those in the US and Australia, and some only take one year to complete, meaning that they are excellent value for money. This means you can begin applying your education to the real world sooner. UK postgraduate course types include master's degrees, MBA courses, PhDs or doctorates, postgraduate di diplomas and qualifications, and professional and vocational qualifications. When making your decision about where to study, it's also important to consider location. In the UK, there are over 160 higher education institutions to choose from, and you will find them in every location, from busy cities, to pastoral countryside locations, to our beautiful coastal towns. The UK may look small on a map, but packed into the country are a wide range of different cultures and landscapes waiting for you to experience. It's important to consider what you're looking for in your university experience. Would you prefer being in a busy city or somewhere a bit quieter and more remote? Do you have any extracurricular passions that would suit a certain location? For example, are you interested in sailing and water sports and therefore would you like to be near a coast? Do you have family or friends in the UK that you would like to be near? This may not be a consideration as the UK has great transport links and is easy to get around, but it might be important to you to be able to easily go and see friends and family on a weekend. Have you considered the cost of living in big cities? London, Edinburgh and other cities may be more expensive to live in and this might be a consideration for you if you have a bu tighter budget for living costs. And finally, do you know about the UK's four nations and do you have a preference for studying in England, Scotland, Wales or Northern Ireland? There are many similarities between the UK's four nations, such as the same currency and language, but there are differences that make each nation unique. There are different types of universities and higher education institutions that you can find in the UK, from the long-standing traditional to the specialists and the conservatoires. Understanding the different types of university will help you to think about what you're looking for in your university experience. So starting with the traditional. Traditional universities are often the largest and have the longest histories. They are usually located in cities and may have higher entry tariffs to other institutions. They have long-standing reputations for research with many of the prestigious Russell Group of universities falling into this category. Some examples include Cardiff University, pictured on screen here, the University of Cambridge, the University of Edinburgh, Queen's University in Belfast, the University of Manchester and the University of York. Metropolitan universities tend to be the newer accompaniment to, to traditional universities. Based in cities, they tend to have shorter histories than their accompanying traditional universities. For example, Cardiff Metropolitan University was set up in 1996, whereas Cardiff University, the university you saw on the previous slide, 
was set up in 1883. But being younger doesn't mean you won't receive an incredibly high standard of education from these universities. And metropolitan universities have other benefits. Metropolitan universities may offer a wider variety of course options than traditional universities, with more options for you to choose from, such as courses in gaming and events management, or more niche course options in subject areas such as business and finance. They may also have lower entry tariffs than traditional universities, but this will depend on the university and the course. Some examples of these metropolitan universities include Oxford Brookes, Sheffield Hallam, Edinburgh Napier and Manchester Metropolitan University. Campus universities have facilities that are all self-contained across one or multiple campuses. This means you'll find lecture halls, accommodation, shops, libraries and other facilities such as laboratories all on one campus. This contrasts other universities that might be spread out throughout a city or area. Campus universities may be located on the outskirts of cities or in smaller towns, although there are plenty of campus universities in cities too. Some students opt for campus universities because they want to feel safe and part of a community. And examples include the University of Warwick, the University of Essex, Ulster University and Loughborough University. Specialist institutions focus on a particular subject area, such as science, law, agriculture, music, dance or drama. Some are known as conservatoires. A conservatoire is a college for the study of classical music or other arts, typically in the continental European tradition. Some examples of specialist institutions include the University of Law, the Royal Agricultural University, the Royal College of Music or the Royal College of Speech and Drama, whose alumni include celebrated stage actor Sir Laurence Olivier and Star Wars actress Carrie Fisher. I'm now going to hand over to Rose, who will take you through some of the more detailed things you may want to consider when deciding on a course and an overview of Discover Uni's online tool to help you make the choice that's right for you. Thank you, Kitty. Uh, as you will have just seen, there are lots of great reasons to study in the UK. And Discover Uni is a great information resource. Over the next 10 minutes, I'll cover what Discover Uni is and what information it has that might help you. I'll talk you through the course search and the type of data we include that can help you decide what course you might like to study and if it's right for you. I'll also offer some pointers about what you might like to consider as you start to research courses in the UK and how you might use Discover Uni to compare the courses that matter most to you. Finally, I'll point out some of the other information on Discover Uni that you might find useful. All the relevant links to information are available on the page for this session. That page also includes links to our social media channels where you can follow us. And if you like, you can ask us questions about using Discover Uni. So what is Discover Uni? Well, it's the official source for information and data about UK university and college courses. It can help you to find the right course for you and includes information about applying. Discover Uni is run by the four funding and regulatory bodies for higher education in the UK. The Office for Students, which is England's higher education regulator and where I work, along with the Scottish Funding Council, the Higher Education Funding Council for Wales, and the Department of the Economy in Northern Ireland. As you can see from the slide, on Discover Uni, you can search for any higher education undergraduate course in the UK by institution or by subject. You can also look for courses by country, England, Scotland, Wales, or Northern Ireland. It includes the la latest national student survey data, which tells you what students actually thought about the course. For example, how satisfied they were with the teaching quality, as well as showing survey data from graduates. It also has information about what students can earn after taking the course. You can bookmark courses you like and compare up to seven courses alongside each other. And there is information and guidance about higher education in the UK, including information about how to apply, the finance options, and where to find more information and support. Because Discover Uni is owned by the four UK regulatory and funding bodies, you can be sure that the data we use is from a reliable source and can be used to make an informed decision about university. When you've found a course you like the look of, you can find more information about the course on the course page. You can see from the slide an example of what the course page looks like. 
There's a lot of information from the National Student Survey, which all final year students on undergraduate courses are asked to complete. The results include overall satisfaction with their course, what they thought about the teaching quality, the assessment, feedback and resources. This information can help you to think about what you really care about when it comes to choosing a university or college course. There is also data on what graduates go on to do after they finish their degree. You might be concerned with the type of job you could get after the course. For example, if it is a graduate level job or if graduates are typically using what they learned in their degree in their job. You might want to choose a course where it is more likely that you will earn a good salary. We have information about what grades or qualifications students had when they entered the course, which can sometimes be different from the entry requirements. Each course page also includes links to further details about the course itself on the university website, including details of the course content and fee information. Discover Uni also includes a tool to compare between courses. You can bookmark up to 25 courses and compare up to seven side by side. This means that you can take a look at all the data I just spoke about for different courses you like the look of, all in one go. The screenshot on the slide shows an example where four courses are being compared. The comparison tool also has an option to rate the courses with one, two or three stars to help you create your shortlist based on your own needs and what matters most to you. We've got a guide on our website, which you can find from the course comparison page to help you understand the data and help you to compare it. Earlier, Kitty from Study UK talked about some of the main benefits of studying in the UK, and you will all have different ambitions and reasons for coming to the UK to study and what you want to do after you graduate. There's a lot of information out there, and it's a good idea to do your research and really think about what is most important to you. You should give yourself time to explore the options to really think about what it is you're most interested in and how you want to study. You'll see some pointers listed on this slide. For example, is there a particular subject you're passionate about? Do you have ambitions to carry on studying in that field? Or do you want to move on to a career outside of university? Do you need to work while you study? You can get a lot from Discover Uni. And as you use the course pages and comparison tool, you'll hopefully start to get a good idea about what matters most to you. You will, of course, want to look at the university website in more detail, or even look for different kinds of information like where there might be opportunities to talk to students or attend virtual open days. On the webpage for this session, we've linked to some more information, including a downloadable resource, which we worked on with the UK Council for International Study Affairs and Study UK. It has detailed information about studying in the UK and includes a lot of links to further resources to help you with your research. Hopefully, this presentation will have made you eager to check out Discover Uni. Maybe you're even taking a look while you're watching this stream. There's a lot of information on there, and I think it's really worth exploring. You will find videos from UK students talking about their experience of university in the UK. There are also resources to download, like the one I just mentioned, which guides you through the application process and getting a visa and links you to further guidance. Hopefully, all this information means you can be confident that you have everything you need. As I mentioned at the beginning, you can find links to the pages and resources on the session page. Be sure to follow us on social media to hear about the latest information and resources. Good luck with your research. I hope you find the perfect course for you, and we look forward to welcoming you to the UK. Thank you for listening. Thank you very much, Rose. Um, just to echo what Rose just said, uh, thanks very much for listening today. And please do visit our festival booth for more information, including links to our other sessions. Um, remember that the Study UK website also contains lots of information to help you prepare for your studies in the UK. And you can also follow us on social media. Thanks, everyone, and enjoy the rest of the festival.